it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title it's just my best in beauty for 2019 now if you're not familiar with my channel welcome join the family smash that subscribe button but I do this video every year where I come on here and talk about what have been my beauty favorites of that current year now I think I did it in 2017 2018 and now we are here for the 2019 edition now this year I didn't buy as many products I'm think I'm over the consumer consumerism of makeup and I'll get into that in a separate video but some of the products that I have just work for me I don't feel like I need to try that many I don't think I need to hoard as much makeup as I have in the past so today's video I'm going to also put up under the product that I'm talking about whether it's been a repeat winner for my last two best in beauty videos now I haven't watched those video as of now because I don't want to cloud my judgment but I will put as I'm talking about it up under it if it has one in several years just because some of the products that I do have are products that I really do love I use them over and over again and they have been my tried and true products of the last year and the first product that I'm gonna talk about that I've talked about and I can pretty much say without even looking at my previous videos has made my video every year for my best in beauty and that's my eyebrow product you guys know probably sound like a broken record NYX brow pencil is my brow pencil of choice it's my brow pencil of life probably over the last two years haven't used anything but this NYX brow pencil in chocolate love it it's $9.99 I hope the price hasn't gone up but as I'm recording this I believe it's still $9.99 has the pencil in which I love also has the spoolie in which I love even more because the issue with my brows isn't that they aren't you know filled in and they don't have hairs it's the fact that they can get unruly so that brush really comes in handy as well and I'm going in the order of the way I apply my makeup if you've seen any of my makeup tutorials I always start with brows first I feel like that just defines the face it gives it the shape it needs to go on with the rest of your products and brow pencil of course has to be the next brow pencil now the next step I typically go into is going into the eyes I always do the eyes before I do my face just because if I have any fallout it's easier to clean when I don't have foundation on my face already and what I do is I prime my eyelid and get it prepared for that eyeshadow and what primer I use is the soft ochre by mac now this is what it looks like this is a fresh tube i just bought this one um again like i said it is the soft ochre paint pot by mac love this for priming my eyes it just really does a good job of course there are cheaper alternatives on the market for this nyx has a good pencil the nick jumbo pencil um in white with my used to be all-time favorite but i like this because it is a little bit more skin tone so but again my soft ochre paint pot amazing by mac for priming my eyes and everything i'm talking about is of course products that i've used today on today's face to achieve today's look and after i prime my eyes of course the next thing is to put that eyeshadow on and i couldn't just pick one eyeshadow palette these have really been in my heaviest rotation for the year now what i'll say has been on the rotation for the longest of this year is soft glam by anastasia beverly hills if i open this and show you guys you guys can see i i gravitate to a couple of colors maybe one in particular that i love the most but again this palette has been my go-to palette of this year now following that up i think my next go-to used palette um was this the huda beauty obsessions palette i think this really came in handy as i traveled a lot this year because it's so compact and as you know 2019 was a travel heavy year for me from my cruise to all my work travels this was really what i needed the other palettes are just too big especially if you're traveling by plane it's just not a good you know sizing this is perfect sizing it has the perfect colors I need the crease the transition the lid shade outer corner outer V now the palette that I used heavily today was I feel like all of them all of them I use I use that burnt orange from Anastasia I use these two colors kind of in my crease then moving on to my kind of later in the year palettes that I really love Jackie Ina of course her collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills of course of course I highly recommend you check this out these are the colors in that. The two colors that I really love in this is Edges and Ginger. So these two shades, I also tried to use and incorporate them in today's look, as well as these two shades are my kind of lid shades that I have going on right now. Again, I have small eyes, so it's hard to kind of see, but 
again i love 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 this palette as well and then the final winner for this year came in really at the end i was not going to buy it i literally told myself i walked into sephora i literally walked out without it but then i you know two weeks later walked into another sephora and then walked out with it and it is the urban decay naked honey palette it's all my favorite shades i think combined together there is not one shade in here that i cannot use i'm a gold fan i'm a warm eye fan if you watch any of my videos you guys know these color speak to me and this palette spoke to me so well of all the naked palettes i didn't really like that rose gold one the naked three i believe they had i do have the naked one and the naked two and then all those smokies and all the other ones did not speak to me but this honey this honey though it got me it got me they won me over for good reason though of course i bought this during the sephora vib sale because again i i've been really anti not anti-consumerism but i haven't been that much spendy 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 at sephora without a good reason but for good reason i got this palette so again naked honey definitely my mvp for the end of the year so the next step for me eyeliner of course i toddled between both the kat von d tattoo liner as well as the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. These are both, I think, equally as good. Both very fine tip. Both are waterproof as well. I use them like today when I don't do a wing. I use them when I do do a wing. I just really overall like both of these eyeliners. So they're equally as good. I tried to choose one over the other. I really can't. They both do the equally same exact job. And I don't know who's made the list in the past. But again, they both do such an amazing job equally that I can't choose between either. So again, both have been my eyeliners of choice for 2019. And then next, what I do is I think I'm gonna go on to lashes. Lashes in theory is what I definitely do next. And um, I love the Kiss Lashes, Kiss brand overall. Now my two favorite Kiss Lashes, of course, are the Kiss 03 Beyond Natural as well as the Kiss 09 So Wispy Lashes. If you guys ever wonder what lashes I have on in any video, it's one of these two brands of lashes. There is no other lashes that I'm trying to Kiss Lashes overall, a good brand of lashes. Now to apply those lashes, I do love the Duo Glue, the adhesive, the one that actually is the brush on adhesive though. So this one has the kind of brush applicator, unlike the tube applicator that you see sometimes Time. a lot of times you'll see that little tube applicator I used to like that but I realized too much comes out it's easier to control when you have that brush on adhesive so I've only ever used kind of duo products when it comes to adhesive I think they're the winners overall in the adhesive game they last on me they don't go anywhere you can find them at beauty supply stores that's where I typically get mine from as well as let's go ahead and go into mascaras mascara now I don't really have amazing lashes so no mascara ever does the job amazingly well for me so that's why I don't invest a lot and spend the you know 30 40 dollars on those best mascaras because at the end of the day they never gonna do nothing for these nothing lashes that I got going on right now so what I have loved and what I do love is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara I mean it just does the job good and it does the job well it does the job that I need to be done the one isn't anything fancy it's a regular wand but it's waterproof it it does me no wrongs as well as I love the MAC extended play lash love this mascara as well for my under lashes it's a, a fine very fine wand that is amazing for getting those under lashes or I also can use it sometimes for my upper lashes as well it just depends on what I kind of got going on if I just want to use one mascara I'll hit those upper lashes hit the bottom lashes and it does the job so well so next we go into face and for face primer smashbox photo finish primer water without even looking at previous videos i know it's probably made the list several times i love it because it's easy just to spray on and go my face is very dry skin or as my local esthetician told me recently i have kind of normal skin but normal skin that likes to soak up water and likes to stay hydrated so if i put any kind of liquid products on me it likes to go dry all of a sudden and so i love all the water and all the water that i can get and smashbox photo finish primer water does 
that trick well. So really love this primer. As well as moving on next to foundations. Now I typically have a hoard of foundations during this video. It's typically like 10 foundations. This year, especially towards the end, I'd say like September, October, November, and now we're in December. This has been my combo of choice. I haven't used pretty much any other when I'm filming from a day to day standpoint. These are my two foundations. It's a foundation I have on today. If you've seen a video from me in September, October, November, and it hasn't been a foundation review, I have this on. This is the combo. And it is the Hourglass Foundation Stick. Now I have a review on this. I don't feel like I was overwhelmingly impressed with this when I did a review on this. I wasn't a huge fan of this foundation when I reviewed it. Now, something has happened where this is my go-to and I wear these in conjunction. I have to put these on together. I know it seems extra. Two foundations, gotta put two foundations on, but it just really, it lasts all day. My foundations look so good and I didn't even go into my second foundation. Now, the Hourglass, I'm in the shade Golden Amber and the Maybelline Dream Undercover Full Coverage Foundation SPF 50. I am in the shade 330 Toffee. Again, this foundation, these two foundations together, I, I love them. And I know one's high end, one's low end. It, it doesn't even matter. I love them two together. If it's like, girl, we going out, I'm going to grab these two foundations without fail, without question. When I pack something to go now, this is going with me for sure. Because again, it just does the job amazingly well. And then for concealer, only one this year. Again, probably a second time winner. Maybe I just discovered this this year. I don't know. But there hasn't been any other concealer that I've used this year and it's the MAC 24 hour studio fix smooth wear concealer I am in the shade NC 44 again the concealer of choice for me I really haven't picked up any other concealer this year not even just to test really I have used this every single day uh, since discovering it so it's just an overall amazing very smooth like it says concealer next we go into setting powder you guys know Laura Mercier translucent setting powder my setting powder of choice really really love this setting powder can't say enough great things about it have it in this size have it in travel size because of course I don't go anywhere where I have concealer without bringing this powder next we're gonna go into contour when I contour my face it has to be the Fenty Beauty contour stick I am in the shade truffle now this I have loved the Fenty foundation of course this year as well that has been something else I've really been loving I didn't include it in this video because if I'm really being honest with myself that is what I reach for when I really want to look beat that combination of that hourglass and that Maybelline but I do still like I think Fenty is my third runner up for my favorite foundation of this year as well but this truffle contour stick love this stick does the job well next we're going to move on to blush for blushes of course we have the wet and wild mellow wine I have loved this for quite some time and I'm pretty sure it has made a list or two before it is the one I have on today not the other one that I really love which is Mac Raisin Mac Raisin perfect perfect blush as well both of these are kind of my set favorite blushes and they are very similar in terms of look well this has a little bit more pinkier to it this is a little bit more of a fall kind of tone which is what i really love about it is kind of how fally inspired it is but i do have mellow wine on today i do like how pinky and kind of rosy it makes the cheeks while at the same time taking into consideration you know we are brown skin women and i think this is a great brown skin as well as this being a great brown skin blush next we move on to highlighters this has been my highlighter of choice and i know they don't make this palette anymore so i'm just going to talk about it briefly but it is really what i use and i've used it forever and it is the carly bible bh cosmetics her collaboration with them the highlighters at the bottom love these for years don't know what I'm going to do when I run out because again she doesn't have this collab anymore I think she has a collab now with Anastasia which is awesome but I own this palette probably since 2016 I don't even know makeup wise it says you're only supposed to keep it for 24 months on here so I'm doing a no no on the back I'm just now reading this I've had it way longer than 24 months but it's highlighter it still does the job well and I really love it but my second favorite of this year has definitely been this Laura Mercier indiscretion 
face illuminator and this is kind of what that looks like again it is the Laura Mercier indiscretion face illuminator I actually have this one on today just to kind of show you guys instead of that Carly Bible which that Carly Bible is typically my filming highlighter because it blinds you but this one also really does the job well at highlighting as well but it's also demure enough to be really good in person too Carly Bible I do tend to like to wear when I'm going out for like a party or I'm filming that's kind of where I like it or an and for pictures but this one I think it's good for filming while at the same time being really really good for real life too you don't look crazy out here like why is she like a disco ball you don't really have the disco ball look with this next for lips lip liner chestnut now chestnut is a color that I try to make work with any lip that I'm wearing I have it on today I've tried to make it work with pinks and sometimes it works with pinks I mean it's not gonna work with reds but it really works well it's a mystery sisterhood of the traveling lip liners type lip liner where it will work with with anybody for anybody of a darker skin tone it just works really well and the lips of this year I've actually expanded upon now everybody knows Anastasia sepia favorite liquid lip of life it just goes on very smooth it just doesn't make my lips feel irritated just amazing looks good and it's consistent enough for me to be in every single video wearing this and I get the same question over and over again and I know what to answer because this makes it easier I could wear red and then I forget what liquid lipstick but with this I can just always remember oh I had Anastasia sepia on in that video but now I've kind of switched up the game a little bit now today's lip I have on the colored rain truffle rain liquid lipstick and I have that on kind of as my base color and I mix it in with ColourPop Beeper. I love this on its own but I think for fall this lip just does a really good job and in the middle to kind of soften it up it's color pops chi now i like to use these three all separately but i have them all kind of three mixed in together today on today's lip to create kind of a custom lip but i think all three of these together separate all really good i like liquid lips i'm not a real lipstick wearer and i'm not really a big lip gloss wearer too if you've seen any of my videos you know i'm not out here my lip gloss is popping i'm typically more so of a matte lip type of a fan but again that has been my favorite lip of this year now next favorite setting spray urban decay all nighter of course of course of course i'm running low on this one so i have another one back up ready to go what setting spray does it, it kind of brings your whole look together i like to go over my face all together with a big brush a big kabuki brush to bring everything together and then i spray this on again for that one last bit of hydration and that one last little kick to give it that long lasting power that my foundations i feel like need so again setting spray has been urban decay and last but not least my applicator of the year has been the Sonia Keshek makeup sponge now this is dirty because I used it of course on today's look but I do have one that I have not opened yet I'm trying not to because I just I love these so much I have so many of them kind of just all over the place I use them on a daily so my other ones are dirty too but it is the Sonia Keshek makeup sponge originally I like the black and white ones but now I really like the gray and white ones they are like five dollars if you see them in your stores definitely definitely i'd say pick up the gray and white version of them because they are so amazing for hitting up under here getting your foundation all blended doing my contour everything about this sponge forget beauty blender if you're a beauty blender fan throw it away if you're a real technique sponge person throw that away as well morphe sponge all those sponges can go to the wayside as far as i'm concerned soya keshik makes one of the best sponges out there point blank period so those have been my makeup favorites of 2019 my best in beauty you can say of 2019 if there is something i really 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 need to try in 2020 make sure you leave it down below again a lot of these are probably repeat favorites because when i find something i love i like to stick with it i'm not the typical i guess beauty influencer where i'm trying and forcing you know new things down your throat if you like something why not just stick with it it's doing its job right we got to spend all this money so Again, if you find something that I need to spend my money on, leave it down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it. We want all the love and support over here on this channel. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of this good content that I present for you guys out here. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at LeahLavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. No be private show. Tell me, no. Tell me, no. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all and more. Bad man, I